Just an average morning at Damascus Gate. One of the seven gates leading out of the old city. Morning characters. Some kind of a shakedown here. Notice the fake FBI sweatshirt on one of the Palestinians. Is he on time? I'm Israel, yes. I love bike tours and, uh, and I'm for the cause. What is the damn cause? <laughs> the cause is, I don't know, well, there's not uh, Free movement within the Palestinian Authority. From the south of Germany, like Lake of Constance, like the place where Switzerland, Austria and Germany meets. And what's your plan for today? Winning the race. <laughs> From Lithuania. <laughs> We're heading for a checkpoint from Israel into the West Bank. It's only about three miles from Jerusalem. A couple miles more, Ramallah. Hello, do you speak English? No. Yes, yes. <laughs> what? Yes? No. No. We hope because there is a lot of checkpoints, we don't have a, a permission for all these people to enter Jericho. Because of that, we are so worried. We are waiting to see what will happen at Jericho checkpoint. I'm a local. <laughs> yeah. I'm No, I'm from Nablus. And the Pope over here saying his speech. <laughs> don't go in cycles. Those of you who are cycling, you will need to go towards a goal. Otherwise, you will end up doing exactly what the politicians are doing. Got them for us, man. <laughs> I'm in one of the Palestinian ambulances following the riders. Notice the soldiers. They're not there for the race. There's been violence between Fatah and Hamas, the two main political parties, for the last couple months. These guys are all Fatah. One man down. A lot of Palestinians I've been running with have been telling me that they've never done a bike race like this before. Yeah. He doesn't believe me that we're going to Jericho. He said, what? Hop awal! Majnoon! Majnoon! Kres! I was really, you know, uh, uh, shocked when they stopped at us this checkpoint. Uh, it's not a new checkpoint, but it's a flying checkpoint. And you know, most of the days they don't, uh, they are not there. But. Keeping us there and forbidding all the people to go to Jericho. And you know, most of the people they are having fun, and it's a good idea for people to go outside, especially the, young, the teenagers. Take your bike and stand there, please. I'm talking to you. Hand on his gun. Watch, she stands her ground. I am Fadi Zidat from Jenin. I go to Ariha from Ariha Ramallah. But uh, the Israeli know. Oh, I am Syrian because I don't speak English very good. Okay, man. Thank you.
I am a wounded soldier, one man down. It's for a good cause, but it happens. Are you still riding? If they would let us go, I'll ride, but they won't. They want us to go back to Ramallah. Originally, they're like about you know five soldiers or six soldiers maximum at this checkpoint. So they knew we were coming. They knew that we we're coming with lots of police, with those high officers there. The idea is that the occupation telling us. Now listen, Palestinians, whatever you are, Christians, Muslims, girls, boys, peace activists, uh, uh, cyclists, sports people, you are the same in front of the occupation. We are here to tell you that don't ever think about one minute that we, never, we, leave, the, we, we leave this uh, checkpoints in front of you open. We are here as an occupation. We should think about that every day, every single minute. Don't have your own program for one week. You can do that. Even for the next minute, you can do that. Look, today we have a program to go to Jericho. Now we've been stopped by the checkpoint, like as the reality that this is the daily life, our daily life. I put a spell on you Cause you're mine La 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 You better stop the things you do